Are you stuck with this message on your WordPress site? Briefly unavailable for scheduled maintenance, check back in a minute. Don't worry, it looks scary, but it's one of the easiest WordPress errors to fix. And I'm gonna walk you through it step by step so your site is back online in just a few minutes. Before we start though, here's one quick tip that could save your site from future stress. Always make a backup before doing updates. The plugin I recommend here is Duplicator. It lets you create a full backup of your site, files and database in just a few clicks. You can store it safely on your computer or cloud and if anything goes wrong during an update, you can restore your site fast. So if your site is still accessible, go ahead now and install Duplicator and run a quick backup. Now, if you're already locked out, don't worry. The fix is easy and you can back up after you're back in. This maintenance mode issue shows up when WordPress is performing an update. Maybe you updated a plugin, a theme or WordPress itself. For a moment, WordPress enters maintenance mode to protect the site during the update. Usually that notice disappears as soon as the update finishes, but sometimes it doesn't and your site stays locked in maintenance mode even after the update is done. This is still one of the most common WordPress problems to date, especially now that auto updates are enabled for many plugins and themes by default. So if your site updated itself overnight and now it's stuck, this is likely the cause. So here's how to fix it. It takes two minutes and you don't even need to log into WordPress to do it. Okay, so as you can see, I have the briefly unavailable for scheduled maintenance message right here. I was updating my site and I clicked away from the update and now I've got this maintenance mode screen here. So to fix this, you'll need to open your site's file system and the easiest way is using a file manager in your hosting control panel. Most WordPress hosts like Bluehost, SiteGround and Hostinger include this in their dashboard. So I'm going to hop over to my hosting and dashboard for this site right now. Now you can also use an FTP program like FileZilla if you prefer to access your files for your site. And I've dropped a link to a video about that in the description below this video. Okay, so once you're in your hosting dashboard, you need to find where your file manager is. And with hosting it, it is over here in the side panel on the left, we can see files right here. If we click on that, then the first option we've got right here is the file manager. We're just going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on access files for this particular site. Okay. So now we're in the file manager for this site and we need to go to the folder where WordPress is installed. And this is usually the public underscore HTML folder. So we're just going to double click on that. Okay. So now we're in what we call the root folder for our WordPress site. And what we're looking for in this list of files and folders is the dot maintenance file, which we can see right here. And yes, it starts with a dot and that means it's hidden by default. And if you don't see it in this list, make sure hidden files are visible in your file manager. There's usually a setting or checkbox called show hidden files. Turn that on and you should be able to see it. So once you find your dot maintenance file, all you need to do is delete it. So I'm just going to right click on it and then click on delete. And then we're going to click it again to confirm that we're going to delete it. And that's it. There's no need to edit the file. Now, if we go back to the website in the other tab and refresh, we can now see the website and we can access it. So if the update completed successfully, everything should work fine on your site. If the update failed, you may see a plugin error or theme warning, but you're out of maintenance mode and you can now fix the real issue inside the dashboard. And here are some quick ways to avoid it next time. Number one, don't update too many plugins at once. Update them one or two at a time. This gives WordPress time to clean up properly. Number two, don't close your browser or leave the page during an update. Wait for the update to finish, let WordPress do its thing and watch for the success message. Number three, be careful with auto updates. They're convenient, but they don't wait for you. Sometimes they trigger in the background and can time out if your host is overloaded. Check your plugin auto update settings and turn off auto updates for any critical plugins. And number four, always keep a backup of your site. Just like we said at the start, 
Use Duplicator to take a backup before any major change. It's quick, it's free, and it could save your entire site. Okay, so getting stuck in maintenance mode looks serious, but it's one of the easiest fixes in WordPress. It just means the system left a cleanup file behind after the update. Now that you know what to do, you can fix it in two minutes flat. If this video helped you, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more WordPress videos like this. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comment below. I'll be happy to help. I'm Ryan, this is WP Beginner, and I'll see you in the next video.